Only on 12 News, the cars of the future. There are more electric car makers and models out there, and they're getting cheaper and becoming more luxurious, as in Arizona is home to major companies and production. But will they really help all of us go green and cut down on how much we pollute the earth? Team 12's William Pitts is hopping into the driver's seat to give us an up-close look. Electric cars. They're popular, getting cheaper, and more companies are jumping in. Yeah, we want this to be a little bit more uh, familiar and comfortable. Like this one, the Polestar 2. It's a Volvo-funded electric car built to compete with the Tesla. A little more expensive than a Model 3, but has more luxury touches. Things that are becoming more and more standard. This is definitely a head turner out on the streets. Every time I'm driving one around, people are yelling at me through windows. A full charge at home will run you about five bucks. Total range, 260 odd miles. How much is it actually using off the grid? Gosh, we got solar panels, nothing. Google Maps on the top left, Google Assistant on the top right. The car is internet connected and tricked out with a ton of gadgets. Okay, Google, set temperature 70 degrees. Got it. Changing the temperature. Arizona has ties to some major electric car companies. Polestar only has a handful of showrooms, and one is in Scottsdale. In Casa Grande, Lucid Motors has built its first factory, producing its own electric sedan. Electric truck company Rivian, which has not started selling yet, has an office in the Phoenix area too. Electric cars are the future. I think we all can agree on that. We all know that's going to be the future, but really the business model behind this is really going to be paramount. That's probably true. Electric cars are the future of sustainability, eventually. In the near term, it's it's challenging because of the dependence on uh, rare earth materials, uh, particularly for the batteries. Dr. Steve Polzin is a sustainability professor at Arizona State University. He says it actually takes a lot of carbon intensive processes to make an electric car. Rare earth materials, they're mined overseas and shipped worldwide, which takes fossil fuels. But people are working on it. Lots of researchers and engineers are working on ways to, you know, to offset and mitigate, mitigate those impacts going forward. And that's before the car even lands in your driveway. But what happens when all cars are electric and recharging off the power grid? A power grid that's mostly run by fossil fuels. Somewhere in the 30-ish percent uh, would be the necessary increase in total generating capacity and transmission capacity. So right now, we're beginners. Electric cars won't solve our problems, not yet anyway. But experts say we're still inventing new technologies to make them better. I think uh, we're already outside of the early adopter stage for electric cars, so most people know that it can work. They just have to put a little bit of effort if they're going to drive to LA. Because most cars can't go that far on a single charge, but they're on their way. Technology doesn't stay in one place, but the car of the future is headed towards electric cars that do it all and do it for you. William Pitts, 12 News.